Hey guys, this is Paulo Tabora. I own this 1972 Datsun 240Z. Uh, we're here at one of my amazing partners, Toy Tars at the Toy Tread Pass. He's one of my best friends, Genesee, um, from JBZ Classics. He's the mastermind of building this super special car. Uh, this car is a tribute build for my dad who passed away from COVID a little over a year and a half ago. I've owned the car for almost nine years and it just sat in the garage. So we decided that uh, we got to build this car for him as a tribute to him. And he loved this vehicle and um, I hope we, we made him proud. The paint was done by our friends at Five Star Auto. It's a Porsche color from the old Porsche 912 called Olive. The wheels are from Work Wheels Japan. The tires are from Toy Tires, um, one of my amazing partners. Uh, they're the Archipolate R's. They're amazing tires, street tires and track tires as well. The front end is from Camieri, Camieri Japan. Fender flares are from Speed Forum Japan as well. Gentlemen. This is a fully built L28, ported, balanced, big cam. It's the heart of the build. Uh, without it, this build is nothing. My very good friend Taka Sato from Kyushu's Taka blessed me with these carburetors. It's a triple Solex Nismo. Um, it's one of the holy grails of the, the Solex line. And it, she screams. Um, yeah, this motor is special. Texan Toy Tuning, uh, they're able to provide the build with amazing, amazing, amazing components, suspension components. Tri bars in the front and the back as well. And if you look under the car, there's a lot of really, really nice components from Tactic Toy Tuning as well. Okay, so here's the interior of the car. A lot of the, uh, the stuff that we use is from Scalard Automotive. The door cards, the, the heel plates, the center console, the delete plates, the seats, or are some old Recaro LXs that my friends from Rogelio's upholstery, they were able to do it for me. Alcantara wrapped with leather, and his son actually did this, uh, this dash, this 240Z, uh, he wrapped it in Alcantara. He did a great job with the stitching matching the seats. Steering wheels from Momo. Momo Motorsports is a Indy Heritage steering wheel. And once you come in, as I said earlier, it was a tribute build from my father. Um, and if you see the, the pedals, ultimate pedals from Florida, they were able to engrave me his name. My dad's signature is in the shirt and the shift knob as well. The shift, the shift knob as well. So I'm always holding my dad every time I drive the car. And last but not least, these gauges, you know, I'll be looking at these gauges every time I drive from Speed Hut. Thank you guys so much for the support. Um, this olive gauge is just super clean, super well made. It's such a work of art. I actually want to bring in my really good friend, Genesee. Three and a half weeks to build this thing and assemble this. It was amazing. Let me go call him. Jen, with, without him, you know, this, uh, this build wouldn't be here. I envisioned the car, I envisioned it, and he executed it. Yeah. Along with like our other brothers, his brother Jeremy, GV, Sean, Jeremy, yeah. Jiro, yeah. Uh, Jolly, Jolly, RG, Takasato from Kyusha House Taka. He, he made sure this car started. We got it started about four days before SEMA, and the goal was to drive it in, and we did drive it in. We pretty much had 30 days to build this car. Yep. This was a tribute car for his dad, obviously, and I really wanted this car to be running. And, uh, you know, we put all our effort into this, and here we are. And this is a proud moment. And uh, yeah, we did it, man. Can I give it a shout out to Datsun Garage? Yes, sir. Uh, Jeff, uh, he provided some of these hard to get parts that's not even available anymore. It's just without him, um, you know, we'll be lost. Thank you so much, guys, for everything.